What happens when you make the same game in 10 minutes, 1 hour, and 10 hours? Well, I put that to the test by making them with CodeWisp, which is a game engine I built. And in the end, I'm going to be comparing them and seeing which one is the best in terms of gameplay quality and time spent, and decide on the winner. But first, I needed to decide what game to make in 10 minutes, 1 hour, and 10 hours. And what better way to do it than two wheels containing random words. So whatever words I got from these wheels, I had to make my game about. And the words were cow and abduction. You know, it could work. I decided to try and make a game where you control a UFO and your goal is to abduct cows and avoid getting shot down by farmers. To start, I had to make this cow abduction game in 10 minutes. Now, you might be wondering, is it even possible to create a game in 10 minutes? I mean, let's be honest, sometimes it takes 10 minutes to even write a single line of code. Well, there's only one way to find out. With the timer starting, I did not have any time to waste. For the images, I didn't even bother drawing a UFO or cow, so I just drew some circles. I guess it looks close enough. Right after, I began coding. And by coding, I meant typing what I wanted in English and having this AI helper generate the code for me. I mean, I only have 10 minutes, and it works pretty well. Of course, I also wrote code myself, and dragging the blocks from the side helped. I ended up getting the basic player movement and cow spawning down, and then I moved on to the light beam. And now you could control the light beam by holding down your mouse. And with the timer approaching 10 minutes, I wrapped up my game, and it was time. It ended up being, well, as good as you can expect for a game made in 10 minutes. I don't know if this is considered a game, but hey, at least you can move around and interact with whatever these are. Next up was the one hour game. Now for this one, I had more time, which meant that I could spend time making an actual game and draw out my characters for real. Though it's only an hour, which still isn't a ton of time, so I had to be pretty efficient. For this game, I started by drawing out the UFO, and then I got to coding. I wanted it to have nicer movement, so I made it follow the mouse pointer smoothly. And I was pretty satisfied with with how it turned out, so I decided to make the light beam next. For that, it was pretty straightforward, and now I had a UFO that was ready to slurp up some cows. Next up, I added a background and drew the cows, and made them move across the screen. I also added a ground and some gravity, and now the cows were fully alive. I then made it so that the cows would get sucked into the UFO if they were touching the light beam, and now things were looking pretty good. Of course, I couldn't just test with a couple of cows, so I did what every person would do in this situation create a cow army. Now it was time to add the farmers. I quickly drew something up, reused some code from the cow, and now I had farmers walking around that the UFO could also suck up. But now I wanted the farmers to shoot at the UFO. Since I didn't have too much time left, I just made the bullets shoot out from the farmers. Lastly, I made it so that if the player takes enough damage, the game stops. And that was it for my one hour game. Overall, I'd say it was a very big improvement from my 10 minute game, both in terms of the art and the gameplay. I mean, there's an actual UFO that flies around now, and there's also cows and farmers walking around, and they could also get sucked into the UFO. So it was looking pretty good, but I wasn't done yet. Finally, it was time for the 10 hour game. Now, I had a lot of time. I could really focus on the details and make the best version of the cow abduction game. I started by redrawing all the images, the UFO, cow, farmer, and others. After that, I improved the movement of the UFO by making it tilt towards the mouse pointer, just to make it look more ballistic. I then made the width of the light beam change, which looked pretty good. After that, I was pretty satisfied with the UFO, so I moved on to the cow and farmer. First, I made them stretch a bit when moving to make it look like they're walking. Now, I could have drawn walking animations for them so that they would actually be walking, but I didn't feel like it, even though I literally had 10 hours. I know. Anyways, next up, I had to fix how the farmers were shooting because right now the bullets are straight up spawning from the farmer's bodies. To make it look better, I had to separate the farmer's arms from the body and make it so the arms would always point towards the UFO. And now it looks like the farmers were actually shooting. I then added a score counter and made it so that the score would increase whenever the UFO sucked up a cow or a farmer. Lastly, I added some finishing touches and the 10 hour game was complete. Overall, it was a pretty big step up from the 1 hour game just from the gameplay quality. And the small details and tweaks made the game look and feel a lot nicer. Now that I had the finished 10 minute, 1 hour, and 10 hour game, it was time for the moment of truth, to play test and compare these games side by side. So I'm gonna start with the game made in 10 minutes. So let's try it out.
And okay, so we have our UFO, which is just a circle, and we have our cows, or these things are supposed to be cows at least. And it sort of works. The UFO is picking up the cows, um, the cows are moving from the right to the left of the screen, and you can open and close the light beam just like that. And things generally work, which is not too bad for 10 minutes. So yeah, that is the 10 minute game. In terms of gameplay quality, I'm gonna have to give this one a 1 out of 5, because this is just pretty bad. Um, it's a bunch of circles for the UFO and the cow, uh, and there really isn't any gameplay that's going on. But in terms of time spent, I'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 5, because this was made in literally 10 minutes, and we have some interactivity which is pretty good. Now let's move on to the game made in one hour. So this is the game, let's just try it out. And as you can see here, we have an actual UFO image, and cows, and farmers too. And things seem to be a lot better. Uh, the farmers are actually shooting, we actually have farmers, first off. And we have the cows getting sucked up, as well as the farmers. And this looks like an actual UFO game. Uh, which is pretty nice. We also have some grass and the ground, and we actually have some nice gameplay going on. The UFO also smoothly follows the mouse pointer, so we have some smooth movement. Uh, the player can also lose health, and there is a game over as well, just like that. However, we don't really have any animations for the cow or the farmer. Right now, they're just moving in a straight line without doing anything. But for a game made in one hour, it's not bad. Now for this one, I'm going to give the gameplay a 3 star. We have an actual game, which is nice. You can lose the game, um, and you can actually do stuff in the game, but nothing really feels alive. Everything's just an image moving around. So that's why I gave this gameplay a 3 star. Now for time spent, I'm going to give this a 5 star, because this was a pretty good use of one hour. We have a complete game, and we have images, and yeah, this game fit the theme of cow abduction pretty well. Alright, now it's time to try out the 10 hour version of the game. So we have our UFO and the cows, just like that. We also have a score on top. And we have some really nice animations and movement, just like that. So this definitely looks a lot more polished. We have a nice background, we have a better ground and um, better fence. And I just lost, so let me try again. Alright, we have our first cow. And I'm going to try playing the game actually, so let me see here. Alright, let's suck these up. Cool. We have 700 points so far. Alright, let's avoid the bullets as well. Nice. Looking pretty good so far. This game also does get harder over time. So the cows and the farmers have less duration between each spawn as time goes on. Okay, nice. We have 3,700 points. Let's keep going, and I'm going to try to avoid the bullets. Alright, let's get all these cows. I did take a few shots already, so I am probably on low health. Okay, let me get these. Okay, I'm still alive. Not too bad. It seems like things are starting to spawn a bit quicker as well. And okay, I just lost. But yeah, this is the 10 hour version of the game. As you can see, there's some really nice movement. The UFO tilts slightly towards the mouse pointer when it moves. And we have some really cool animations for the cow and the farmer. And the farmer's arms actually rotate towards the UFO. So that's pretty nice as well. We also have some really nice background images. We have like stars in the sky, and also a fence, and some grass. Also the light beam opens and closes, like that. And of course we have a score counter. But anyways, for this game, I'm gonna give the gameplay a 5 out of 5. We have some really smooth animations, we have nice images, and we have a completed game with a score counter, and end game, and everything else. 
Now for time spent, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5. I feel like this game could have been completed in less than 10 hours, but I spent a lot of time adding small details, for example making the farmer's arms rotate towards the UFO, and that took a bit of time. But for a game like this, the code actually wasn't too bad. For example, this was all of the bullet code, and this was the cow code, which was a bit more but the score code, and also the ground and background, they all didn't have much code. So overall, it was still pretty good. But anyways, that's it for this video. You can check out these games I made on my platform, CodeWisp. Links are in the description below. You can also make your own games and share them on CodeWisp, and I definitely want to see what you make. So be sure to sign up now, and let me know what you want to see next. But anyways, that's it for this video. See ya!